welcome to Little Gardeners. Hope you'll join us today. I'd like to share with you a book called Santa's Favorite Story. This is by Hisako Aoki and Ivan Gonchev. And one of the things that I love about this time of year is that I get to look into my stash of Christmas stories and I get to read those stories that I only enjoy at this time of year. It makes them so special to me and I hope you like it as much as I do. As I'm looking at the cover of this book, I see that Santa Claus is leaning up against a tree and it looks like, it looks like he's taking a nap. And do you see the animal right behind the tree? Do you know what kind of animal that might be? He's kind of red and he has a big bushy tail and he has a pointy nose. I think that's a fox. It makes me wonder why is Santa Claus taking a nap? Doesn't he have a lot of work to do? <laughs> Let's see. One cold day in December, a fox was walking in the forest and as he looked at the snowy trees, he remembered that it would soon be Christmas and then he heard something. He sniffed the air and he looked around. Do you notice it as I'm reading? If I sniff the air right now, I could smell, I could smell rain in the air and little droplets are coming down from the sky. I like to be in the garden when it's starting to drizzle. Do you like it when it rains? There, fast asleep against a tree, was Santa Claus. He was snoring. Can you make a snoring sound? Oh my goodness, thought the fox. Santa Claus has come early this year. I better go and tell everyone he's here. So he hurried out to tell all the other animals that lived in the forest. There he is. That's just like the cover of the book, isn't it? When they heard the news, the animals hopped and ran and scampered and flew to the tree. A squirrel chattered excitedly and Santa Claus slowly stretched, yawned like this, Ugh, and then opened his eyes to see the faces of a dozen little creatures. Why are you here? They asked him. Is Santa, is Christmas going to be early this year? Asked the fox. I'm sorry if I worried you, my friend, said Santa. I went for a long hike this morning to get in shape for Christmas Eve. Um, but I guess I walked until I got too tired. Maybe all those heavy presents will be too much for me to deliver this year. The animals looked alarmed. Oh, does that mean that there won't be Christmas anymore? Asked the fox. No, 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 said Santa in a kindly voice. Christmas hasn't got anything to do with me. Sit down and I'll tell you all the story of the first Christmas. It happened long, long ago in a faraway place called Bethlehem. Some shepherds were watching over their sheep in the fields outside the town. It was very quiet and still. Look at these beautiful pictures. Makes me want to take out some watercolors. Suddenly a beautiful bright star appeared in the sky. The shepherds heard a voice saying, Do not be afraid, I have good news for you all. Today in the town of Bethlehem, the Christ child has been born. God has sent his son to show what God's love is like. Follow the star to his stable. The shepherds followed the star over hills and through valleys, across bridges and past little villages. <laughs> Look at all the animals who are coming with them. All the while the star shone brighter and brighter until at last it stopped above a small stable. The shepherds and their sheep stopped too, for there in the stable was a baby lying in a manger. The shepherds knew that this was the Son of God and they knelt down and they prayed. Look at, there's the stable and there's the star shining so brightly, it almost looks like a sun. And this is what happened in Bethlehem when the Christ child came. It's my favorite story because it reminds me why we are so happy at this time of the year. Love was the gift God gave to us on the first Christmas and it still is, you know. And this love is far better than any presents I could ever deliver. 
Santa Claus put his hands in his pockets and looked slowly around the circle of animals with a kind and happy smile upon his face. How silly we've been, said the fox, to think that Christmas was only about presents. <laughs> So now you know, said Santa, but come on, you're right that it's almost Christmas, so let's go back to my place and get things ready. All the animals followed as Santa Claus ran off towards his house. He didn't even look tired anymore because he had remembered how much fun his work was going to be. Wow, look at this beautiful snowy scene. Have you ever been in the snow? You need the clothes that are just right for the snow, huh? Otherwise it's, ooh, it's too cold. The animals stayed at Santa's house until Christmas Day and helped him every way that they could. Of course, the reindeer helped by going out with him to deliver the presents the night before. And after a fine Christmas dinner, Santa gave every animal a present. And as they sat around the fireplace later in the day, they all asked to hear Santa's favorite story again. It was a very special Christmas Day for everyone. <laughs> Santa was sure that he had the nicest time of all though, because he remembered that the best present ever is Christmas itself. The end. Isn't that a beautiful story? I just love this one.